The Lament of Cock Hepperson, surnamed Anku. The man who was tired of life did not stand alone in his discontent with the surroundings in which he lived, and with his fellow man. We find that a priest of City of the Sun called Cock Hepperson, who was surnamed Anku, shared his discontent and was filled with disgust at the widespread corruption and decadence of all classes of society that were everywhere in the land. In the introduction to this description of society as he saw it, he says that he wishes he possessed new language in which to express himself and that he could find phrases that were not trite in which to utter his experience. He says that men of one generation are very much like those of another and have all done and said the same kind of things. He wishes to unburden his mind and to remove his moral sickness by stating what he has to say in words that have not before been used. He then goes on to say, I ponder on the things that have taken place, and the events that have occurred throughout the land. Things have happened, and they are different from those of last year. Each year is more wearisome than the last. The whole country is disturbed and is going to destruction. Justice or right is thrust out, injustice or sin is in the council hall, the plans of the gods are upset, and their behest are set aside. The country is in a miserable state, grief is in every place, and both towns and provinces lament. Everyone is suffering through wrongdoing. All respect of persons is banished. The lords of quiet are southeast in commotion. When daylight comes each day, every face turns away from the sight of what have happened during the NGHT. I ponder on the things that have taken place. Troubles flow in today and tomorrow tribulations will not cease. Though all the country is full of unrest, none will speak about it. There is no innocent man left, everyone works wickedness. Hearts are bowed in grief. He who gives orders is like to the man to whom orders are given, and their hearts are well pleased. Men wake daily and find it so, yet they do not abate it. The things of yesterday are like those of today, and in many respects both days are alike. Men's faces are stupid, and there is none capable of understanding, and none is driven to speak by his anger. My pain is keen and protracted. The poor man has not the strength to protect himself against the man who is stronger than he. To hold the tongue about what one hears is agony, but to reply to the man who does not understand causes suffering. If one protests what is said, the result is hatred, for the truth is not understood, and every protest is resented. The only words which any man will now listen to are his own. Everyone believes in his own. Truth have forsaken speech altogether.